Good day, everybody. My name is Rob Banke, and I am the co-founder over at Halborn, and I am so happy today to welcome you to a new series that we're doing. It's called Critical Spotlight. We are bringing in some of our top engineers at Halborn to give them the spotlight, highlight some just amazing things that we are finding all day, every day here at Halborn. And so I'm very excited to introduce you all to Priam Sony. Priam, tell us a little bit about yourself and please tell us what you found. Thanks, Rob. So we found a critical in a recent code base audit and it was related to ERC 1155s. So there's a fact about ERC 1155 is that whenever you transfer a token to a receiver, the receiver has the control of the call before the amount is subtracted. Okay. And the thing was that if I have given you permit of 100 tokens with my balance being 1000, what you could do is you could transfer out those tokens to your controlled address and that address will call back to the transfer function again. And you can loop it 10 times. So 100 times 10 is 1000. You can effectively empty out my wallet. And then when the call gets to the original contract, the contract will subtract your permit of 100 tokens. So that way, by using the permit of 100 tokens, you have stolen all my balance. And this was a critical issue that we found. And it could lead to the complete protocol being useless because hackers could steal all the money. We're highlighting today a re-entrancy attack, right? Like in uh, as far back as in 2016, the infamous Ethereum DAO hack, that was a re-entrancy attack. So how is how are these things still happening and what can we... What can we teach or tell anybody writing code um, on open source, per, you know, public chains to, to, to help them stay safe out there? Yeah. So first and foremost, there are some standard practices that you can follow to avoid re-entrancy. One of those is following the checks effects interactions pattern. So that's the first. Second is using the static analysis tools to uh, find any re-entrances that you missed. Okay. And third and uh, much more effective way is to get a third party review of that contract. Most probably a security expert to look into it. So that way you can be sure that uh, re-entrances won't happen, but still it's making your contract more robust. Nothing is bulletproof. So that way you can increase the confidence in your contracts. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it makes sense to advise, you know, folks building in this space, you know, there are tools out there. There's some, there's some open source tools like Slither, of course. Um, you know, we're, we're many, many years away from anything AI related ever being able to find something like, like this, I feel. I mean, how many days does this take you to actually find? This wasn't a simple re-entrancy, right? Yeah, it wasn't a simple one. So I started the audit and took me a couple of days to figure out how the whole system works. And you can only find these types of critical when you have the complete system knowledge. So that way you know how to break that system. And currently static analysis tools don't have the black hat mindset, which we use to break the contracts. So that's, it took me a couple of days to find it out. So, you know, for those listening out there, things that we're always advising, you know, of course, you know, even if you're not a security expert, you can still download the open source software that is Slither. You can still run some reports or, you know, run and generate some reports. You can still, there will be a litany of false positives for sure, as as Priam has, has said before. No matter what, for sure, you want to get third-party eyes and review on it. Now, of course, we'd like to suggest you work with Halborn whenever you have a security review. There's a lot of great peers out there that we love and respect as well that you can work with. And, and most importantly, too, there are also other engineers within your organization that you should be assigning to do their own code reviews on as well, just to check these things out. So with that being said, Priam, thank you so much for this quick highlight on a recent, uh, recent critical. And thank you so much for your time. And thank you all for watching today on today's Halborn Critical Spotlight.